So you're thinking about buying the new R3-1200 but don't know what GPU to pair it with in the fear of bottlenecking. Well, that's what this quick video is about. I'm gonna test a variety of GPUs in 1080p and Quad HD to give you guys an idea of the performance you will be getting. And the reason why I'm making this type of video is because the R3-1200 is going to be one of the most popular AMD processors out there because you get a 3.1 GHz quad-core CPU rated with a 65 watt TDP that comes with its very own cooler for only $109. I was also able to overclock the CPU to 3.8 GHz at 1.35 volts using the stock cooler. I'm even confident that the CPU can hit 4 GHz using an AIO cooler. So the 1200 is aimed to compete against the G4560 and the Core i3-7100, but what sets this CPU apart from them is the price and core count. But anyways, without wasting any more time, here are the benchmarks. So the only bottlenecking that I experienced was in GTA 5. We can clearly see the GPUs above the RX 580 throttling and capping at 113 FPS in HD and 111 in Quad HD resolution. The rest of the games didn't experience any major bottlenecks and this isn't to say that the R3-1200 won't bottleneck on other games, so please keep that in mind. This video is just to demonstrate what performance you will be getting combining the R3-1200 with one of the GPUs shown in this video. The truth is, you can game comfortably up to 2K resolution with a capable GPU and not worry about too much performance loss. You can do this with a CPU that costs around $100 with its own stock heatsink. That's what's so impressive. So if you're looking to build your next budget PC for strictly gaming and light tasks, the R3-1200 should definitely be on your list. I'll drop a link if you guys want to check it out. Now, if this video was helpful, feel free to drop a like to show your support. And if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike as well. And consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.